believe there's some progress. Maybe. No. Well, no. The, the engine's not quite in yet. We've done nothing. All <laughs> what have we got here? So that's a custom engine mount. Is it welded to the chassis now? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much all welded in. Uh, the only thing I've got to do with that is I'm going to make a little gusset from the bottom here. Did you say gusset? I did say gusset. And uh, make a little box piece for the bottom there and, and box that in. But that's pretty much as it's going to be. It's done. Fantastic. That's one. So it's half in then? It is one of them. I noticed that you, you've, cut, you've, 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 cut, that, you've cut a section here. Oh, I've got a dog bone now. Okay, good stuff. So there's a section here to complete still. Uh, well, yeah, well, we cut the window because the box, obviously the engine is physically wider. We could get it in, but obviously with the mounts that we've got, um, it had to push over that way a little bit more to get this mount in. Mm -hmm. um, so unfortunately, because that's the thickness of the mount there and the way that was going to work, it's pushed it over that way a little bit. We'll, we'll infill and box that in anyway, so it's all strong and safe and uh, done what it needs to. A um, little bit more trimming over there. I think we've got a good plan of what we're doing and what needs to happen over there for the mount. And uh, with a few hours on that side, that side should be about. Yeah, about I, I think a good, you know, good couple of three hours on it. I think we'll have two engine mounts. Yeah, Fantastic. Yeah, more, the engine will be in on its own. We're gonna. I think what we're gonna do for the dog bone mount, or what we've looked at doing, is where the air comp pump originally bolts on the front. Yeah. Um, because the front cradle goes on on this car for the uh, for the tie rods going back to the lower arms. That actually had the original engine mount on that. And we're going to use from that and tie that to make a dog bone mount up. So yeah. that would be quite nice. Good stuff. So nice the edge has got to come back out again now because it's... Yeah. 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 When it, when, obviously, we're still in mock-up stages. I didn't cut the hole quite big enough over there, so that's got to be done. There's, there's a few bits that have got to be sorted. But potentially, we've now made a good start and we've got one side in. Well, that's impressive stuff. Well done. And a, a little bit of help there from Samuel. Thanks, Sam. Yeah. All right. Well, good stuff. Well... Part There's a bit four, of an update for, for part four now. I don't know what part we're on, man. We just keep pl plodding through them. Yeah, I think it's, it's, people it's, people appreciate this is the long the long term ramp, and also this is not actually a priority in this workshop. So it's only when we get an hour or two. Oh yeah, I mean it's like this afternoon. It we all the customer work's done, and we've got a few hours this afternoon. So it's like right, let's get started on mocking some mounts up. But you're generally happy so far, aren't you? Yeah, everything seems to be going well. I mean, once you get. It'll speed up a little bit once we get both mounts on, because that's the hardest part. Once the engine's mounted, yeah. once the engine's mounted, the dog bone mount's done. Things like the exhaust can be uh, mopped up, the radiator can be mopped up, the gear the shift, shift linkage can be mopped up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Everything will start. Yeah, drive shafts. Everything will start moving faster then. On that, moving faster. Yeah, awesome. Okay, well, thanks, thanks guys. Thanks for coming, guys, and we'll uh, we'll see you on the next episode.